Tom Alvan 14.45 on Islam TV 254 Let's share the knowledge Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Thumma salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam All praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Peace and blessings be bestowed upon our noble prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Dear brothers and sisters in the faith of Islam It is another chance which is very great to everyone who is proud of being a Muslim This is a year 2024 it is a year 1445 another year that Allah has brought for us another time to get out of anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and another time to get into power rise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and another time to also get the mercy and the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is a month of Ramadan it is prescribed upon every muslim believer across the noble world that it is the only month that everyone have to be fast in it you need to study fast in this month so that you gain the praises of allah you gain the ni'mas of allah the fadl allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just like allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it is a command ya ayuha alladhina amanu kutiba alaykum siyam kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum la'allakum tatakun O oh, believers, fasting is prescribed for you as it was for those before you. So perhaps you become mindful of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this cause, it is only in the month of Ramadan. Ramadan is a month of mercy, a time when we have to, the opportunity to draw close to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala and be forgiven for our sins through the simplest actions. The first 10 days of Ramadan are the best for time, the best time for seeking. at the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa sallam said in his hadith wa hiya shahar awwal rahma wa awsatuhu maghfira wa akharahu itqu min al-nar this hadith was generated or was narrated by Ibn Khuzayma uh, dear brothers and sisters the first thing that we need to do I'm going to share with you seven tips you need to do in this Ramadan the first thing is to make dua You make dua to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. You make dua after iftar. After every iftar, be steady first to mention the duas, the supplication is one to make to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just like Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is pleased. He is there to give us everything. He is there to forgive us. He is there to give us time so that we can at least have the chance to communicate to Allah and draw closer to him. Dear brothers and sisters this time you need you don't need to be left behind because you never know whether you will have the chance to enter another uh, Ramadan like the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said iftar before iftar after iftar before iftar qala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ma du'i bihi indal iftar fa huwa yu'khadhu wa la yarmir indeed if any one of you who does whatever is prayed for that at that, that particular moment of breaking the fast is granted and never refused wala yarb wala yarb that's how most of the scholars have brought up that page and we also know that when you sit down to iftar take the time to seek Allah's mercy and forgiveness from breaking your fast we know you are hungry but this is the best time to do it make sure you supplicate using the name ar-rahman the most compassionate ar-rahim the most merciful so that's the first tip that we should at least be put forward so that we can seek the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala another tip as well we want to share with you is make dua for others to receive mercy dear brothers and sisters let's do dua for others let's do dua for others so that we can also get the mercy also that they can also get the mercy of allah not everyone who supplicates to allah the dua is makbul to that particular moment but there are some people when they say dua for others indeed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will listen to them why we only get this uh this authentic hadith by written by recorded by imam muslim قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ما منع ما منع عبد مسلم 
يدعو لأخيه بظهر الغيب إلا قال ملائكة ولك بمثله والله there is no Muslim servant who supplicates for his brother behind his back but that the angel says and for you the same and for you the same dear brothers let's take this chance to pray for others that's a hadith which is so authentic by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as he guides us in that particular moment we need to seek the mercy praying for others to also get the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the first 10 days take the time to visit or call family members who you don't often speak to and make sure you speak forgiveness you seek forgiveness from anyone you have had for out falling with it is important for you to take the first step towards building bridges and being close with your relatives will bring you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he have been guiding us he have been teaching us how we should do that because we can only have that inna rahma sami'tu inna rahma samita bi rahma faman waslaha waslaha allah wa man qata'aha qata'ahu allah wallahi whoever connects whoever connects the womb is named after rahman so whoever connects to allah allah connects him and whoever suffers it then allah suffers him this hadith was generated from imam muslim uh, imam tirmidhi as he recorded in his book of hadith so the womb is named after rahman the most compassionate so we should be merciful and compassionate towards those connected to us through the womb i.e. our families the extended families show mercy towards your family and allah will show mercy towards you that's a hadith then another the fourth tip is you increase your victory increase your victory this is really easy to seek allah's mercy after every salah recite subhanallah wa bihamdi 20 times for example each salah kulli salat in a day you say 20 times 20 times before five to five when it is actually five time prayers in a day you will be reciting a hundred times Reciting this simple dhikr will obtrate your sins even if they are as much as the form of the ocean. These are hadith generated by Muslims. Dhikr in general is a good way to draw closer to Allah in Ramadan, this Ramadan here. As he says in the number Quran, and remember, I will remember you. That's in Surah Al-Baqarah 152. So do we need to increase the dhikr? You need to increase your dhikr whichever way whichever you want to out to trade out try to increase your victory towards this night towards every night so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can at least obliterate your sins so you can be among the good doers indeed no one of us is so perfect nor the spora nor anyone around us we of us we are wrongers we are wrongdoers but at least we can do it we can have that chance. Dikri wa dikri wa subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another one is encourage family to pray at night. Encourage your families to pray at night. Indeed, this is another part which can increase, which can get, help us to get up with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even when you remind one another to wake up at night and pray, it is many of us focus, many of us are exhausted by fasting during Ramadan. It can be difficult to motivate ourselves to wake up at night to pray and worship. However, encouraging our families to worship at night is an important part of seeking Allah's mercy. It, has, it can help us to get motivated too. Like the Prophet Muhammad like the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Rahmallahu rajulan qama min al-layri fa salli thumma ayqadwa at wa sallat فإن ابتع ندح في وقت May Allah have mercy on a man who gets up at night and prays then he wakes his wife and he prays if she refuses he sprinkles water in her face this is another tip at least can give to us together close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the sixth then we also need these duas as for mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here 
and some of the duas that we need to do so much in the first 10 days of Ramadan. Rabbi ghfirli warhamu wa anta khayru rahmi. Rabbi ghfirli warhamu wa anta khayru. Let the Prophet say, Lord, forgive and have mercy. And you are the best of the merciful. That is in the Quran, in, verse, in, in, in Surah Al-Mu'minun, verse 118. In other words, the Prophet recited, Allahumma inni as'aluka bi rahmatik, alati wasa'at kulla shay'in, an taghfira li. Oh Allah, I seek you by your mercy, which involves all things that you forgive me. The Prophet recited that dua, and there were so many authentic hadiths that generate that speech from the Prophet saying, Allahumma inni as'aluka bi rahmatika lati wasa'ata kulla shay'in an taghfir li. Oh Allah, I ask you by your mercy, which involves all things that you forgive me. Another dua the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam say, said, Allahumma ghafili warhamni wa alhaqni bi rafiq al-a'ala. Allahumma ghafili warhamni wa alhaqni bi rafiq al-a'ala. Then this dua, Sayyidat Aisha radiallahu anha zawjati Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I had the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, saying this at his death, O oh Allah, forgive me and have mercy on me and join me with the highest company. This hadith was generated by Imam Tirmidhi. The last one, show mercy to others. While seeking Allah's mercy, it is important to remember that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever does not show mercy to the people, Allah will not show mercy on him. Man la yarhamu nas, la yarhamu Allah. If you don't have mercy upon people, you will not be given mercy by Allah. This means that showing mercy to others is an essential part of seeking Allah's mercy. Without it, you miss out on the blessings of the first 10 days of Ramadan. Mercy can mean talking kindly to others, offering people your seat on the, maybe in the bus, even when you're fasting it. And of course, giving sadaqah to those in need out of the mercy of your heart. Showing mercy and love to children is particularly important, as it is from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the first 10 days of Ramadan. Why not donate a Ramadan? At least you share with someone food to feed the refugee children, those living in poverty, or begin your orphanage sponsorship to support orphans who help, who need your help. Remember the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ramadan is the month of my Ummah, so youth. As you spread mercy, hope, and relief to our brothers and sisters, we pray that Allah showers you with mercy and hope, relief in it. Muslims' Hand is an award winning charity. This is one of the best tips that we can easily get steadfast with. We hold our tidings to them. Wasallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our faith, increase our iman in doing this, and in the fasting, reading Quran, and also giving swadeka to those who are in need of it. Wa barakallahu fikum wa nafabikum wa katharallahu wa mutharikum wa jami'ah. Don't forget to subscribe to our online TV channel, Islam TV 254, is where we are going to share with you all the best.